Hello and welcome to CDG Engineering. Today I'll be showing you how to make an elevator lift. First you need your track. They come in these pieces and they have places to put pins and you can connect them together like this on a track. And then you can get a you can get a beam like this and put them on. Just like that. You can make it however long you would like it to be, but this is just for demonstration purposes. Then you need your gearing mechanism. I use these two little 12 tooth gears that roll alongside these and make it go up and down. And these are the, right here, this is where the track goes in. It just helps, stay, stabilizes it so it doesn't get off the track and not go up and down. It's just to help it. And then I have that attached to a motor. So it goes on just like that. Now just program it and it works. You can do the gearing system however you want. You can do the motor wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. Whatever fits your design. Now let's talk about what the benefits are of this and what's some bad cons about it. A benefit about this is this. If you try to stop it, it's super high torque because it's directly geared and it's not lowering the gear ratio any. Super strong. And you could you can make the track a little bit longer and you can go even higher. A con of this is if you go over how tall the track is, it won't get back on and to, until you wiggle it around. But in the middle of a match, you can't do that. So if it goes over, you can't get it back. And also, it, it skips. If there's a heavy load, it skips. And that's bad. But as long as you can get a um, a good stable lift, elevator lift, that you'll be fine. You won't worry about it falling off or getting over too high and not being able to move on the track and it's skipping as long as you get a good design for that. Now I'm going to show you how to build a stopper for your elevator lift so it doesn't, so it prevents it coming off the track. You can use a beam and attach it right over the gear so it won't go all the way up. It'll stop on the on this piece right here. And you could support it with rubber bands and you can also use rubber bands to do it too. Now let's see what it does. It doesn't move because it's a stopper. Although it may move a little bit. It keeps it from going over and um, the gears not being able to touch the track and you'd be stuck. Also, you can use a, you use a bumper switch so you can attach it somehow like this so whenever this goes up and the bumper switch hits right there, it stops. That's just another idea. But if you want a fast and easy um, stopper, I'd go for that. Okay. 
You can use this as a lift or you can use it to move things around on the field. The possibilities are endless with this. You can make it go up and down as a lift. You can make it go side to side for whatever reason you might want it to be that way. You can make this thing go super long.